Hey. Hi everyone, today is December 2nd, it's a Saturday night, so I'm gonna try to do this quick, apologize if the lighting is bad, but I wanted to get it um, out of the way because I just wrote my first article in my website. If you have not seen my website, I'll link it down below and I'll put it up here also. It's lupitasarchives.com and I kind of just wanted to give you an overview of what I wrote and my feelings on it because I didn't just want to kind of um, write an article that con it's not controversial but it's a little controversial and not kind of explain myself appreciate any feedback any positive or negative feedback that I can constructively work my article is called confessions of a teen mom everyone knows this about me but I like to write and I feel like this is the perfect way to kind of develop those skills and kind of hone in on what I need to work on what I don't need to work on what I need to improve and um I would love it if you guys would be able to read it and um, leave me any comments or if you can follow me on any of my social media, you can reach me any really anywhere at any time. Um, I really wanted to build this website because I kind of wanted to have a space where I can develop my thoughts and organize them in a way where... I know maybe it can help someone. I obviously was a teen mom at a very young age. I became a teen mom at 17 years old. My daughter's now seven. So it's been seven years. It's a very long time and I never felt comfortable enough to talk about this because I felt like it was a little controversial. I felt like some people would judge me and for that for a very long time kind of bothered me. But now that I'm older and um, I'm more aware of things, I'm more comfortable with things, now I feel like I um, have enough strength to put it out there and not really kind of, um, not care, but not really give a lot of thought of the negative feedback I'm going to get, I may get, I'm not sure yet. Um, but anyways, I wanted to make this video about the article and kind of hone in the three main points of the article and give just like a like a overview of what I wrote and basically it's about judging teen parents and I feel like this is a huge issue because me as a teen parent was judged a lot and I'm kind of like in the shy kind of I'm kind of shy in the kind of quiet side of things so for me, it's, this is a very big deal. I don't really talk about my thoughts or feelings or emotions or things like that anyway, really, because I feel like people can misconstrue or pull out something out of really nothing. And so this is kind of my way to, I guess, having my voice about the subject. And, you know, we already have so much already on our plate. And then additionally that everyone feels like they can say things to us and say things about teen parents and about how you know we're the <clears throat> we're like a problem now like we um shouldn't be able to pursue other things or shouldn't be able to kind of dream because we became parents so young and destroyed our lives or whatever and i'm not saying everyone thinks this way because obviously i definitely know that i've met some really good people around my life that has not been so biased and has helped me and support me and everything I've done I'm talking about the other percentage of people that I've met um that as soon as they look at me they just see how young I am and they see how older my daughter is and just assume so many things just because I had her at a young age I genuinely felt like horrible when I got pregnant so young and I felt more horrible because my mother almost raised me not to be that type of teenager and to kind of do that to her was horrible obviously it made me feel bad but I mean people make mistakes life is not perfect and I felt like 
I could have been a lot more comfortable if people would have just stopped telling me where my life was going to be. So I was fortunate enough that I had an experience where I had one of my friend's fathers talk to me about how I'm supposed to quit school and get a job now and have to work like three jobs now to support that I basically ruined my whole future and that not to even think about going to college. I kind of want to thank him now because if it wasn't for him saying that to me, I probably would have ended up just like he said. But because he said that to me and he was so not only angry about it, but just so righteous about it that I decided no, that's not what's going to happen. I'm going to continue to go to school and I'm going to do the best that I can to not be a statistic. I People shouldn't be hypocrites. People shouldn't um, tell you what to do yet you're not taking care of your own family or you know making sure your things are right and going out of your way to make not only I was what like a 17 year old girl feel bad just because she made one mistake right um I feel like a lot of these girls or women that say oh why did you get pregnant though or you should have just gotten pregnant you should have been on birth control so on and so forth it's just really hypocrites because I've met a tons and tons of girls that even now don't use protection have you know sex and um unfortunately well luckily they don't get pregnant but unfortunately if they would have gotten pregnant at my age um you wouldn't become a teen parent like no offense but <laughs> that's the reality of it unless you're preaching what they're teaching you're not having unprotected sex and you're always like safe and you're always this and you're always that then okay you know good for you because obviously many other people can't do that and I don't, it's not like I'm mad about the fact that I got pregnant and then other people didn't. It's about the fact that I just don't like people judging other people just because you got lucky and a certain thing and they didn't. So then my second thing would be, um, I don't like how the media is portraying teen parents right now. I feel like media and everything and like, now don't get me wrong, I'm not saying, you know, I'm not supporting teen parents and saying oh if you're young you should have a kid and this and that and that's not what i'm saying but i'm saying mistakes happen or not even mistakes just life happens and that's okay like don't feel bad because something happened to you that didn't happen to other person because you know what like everybody has their struggles and they're all different and we shouldn't all be judging each other about them we should support each other so like that we can get through them faster yeah, i feel like people are misconstruing teen parents as being irresponsible and saying you know they're not protecting themselves so maybe they're not going to do this or that and you know for us it's already hard as it is because we have a child and then we have to go to school then we have to find our careers and so on and so forth and i feel like without all of this kind of backlash it would be just more simple for us to be able to go into the workforce and not being able to be like oh you know i have a kid how old are they how old are you so on and so forth they make you feel almost like oh well you know why did you do that or what kind of person you are especially when you're female like they look at you like if you're like this easy kind of girl and that you know if you got pregnant so young it's because obviously you were kind of some type of girl and that's not always true <laughs> additionally to that i feel like um you know we shouldn't be constructing our ideas and our ways of thinking with media and what we watch on TV because obviously we all know that TV is just, it's a company. Like all of these people are companies and they just want ratings, they just want um, money. Like that's their goal. And if you're feeding into that, actually believing that, then you're not really being a critical thinker for yourself because you're just thinking of what other people are telling you if that makes sense. So that was my second thing. I'm not going in order. I'm just going into however I, I remember things. Um, like I said, I, I am honestly a, a better writer because I just, when I write, I can organize my ideas. But when I speak, it's like I still have to work on it because I just go everywhere and mumble. Third and I guess last point is, um, you know, adults. I understand that they're upset because as your kid and you decide, you know you try to do everything you could obviously like 
I'm a perfect example. My mom did everything she could in her power for me not to get pregnant when I was younger. However, sometimes it happens. And I'm not necessarily saying that I'm proud. I would be proud if my daughter would get pregnant young and, you know, I'll be like, yeah, go ahead. And no, like, obviously, I know I made it, like, um, a hard thing for me. But, you know, and I'm willing to talk to her about it and go through the process of birth control and all these other options that you have when you get pregnant young. However, I'm talking about the people that are already there, like, already in that stage. Like, you can't go back. Like, they already messed up. They already, they're pregnant already. I'm talking about that stage. And so, in that stage, I feel like parents, I know some of them are really, really upset and they just want, they don't know how to handle it, but I don't feel like it's right for you just to leave your child out in the street or to kind of bash them and kind of make them feel worse as they're already feeling worse i mean yeah we can have a fight a general fight obviously but past that i feel like you know i know for a fact that if it wasn't for my mother because <clears throat> you know my mom is not with my father but if it wasn't for my mother i would not be here sitting <laughs> talking or writing or anything um she really helped me kind of get the time um to be able to do other things right so obviously parents just don't understand how much we more we need them at that point because not only are we scared we know we messed up and we feel bad but we're super scared and we don't know what we're gonna do and we don't have anyone to like guide us or do this or that that um you know we're just lost well that's how i felt anyways um and if it wasn't for my mother i honestly don't know what i would have done um my mom helped me so much through everything and she was like the person that you know gave me strength when i was about to just give up and be like you know what it's too much i'm over it my mom was really really there for me and she's still there for me to this day and um if it wasn't for that for the for me seeing how my mom was doing so much for me and like going through everything through this whole process with me i probably would have not understood how much love i guess and respect your parents actually have for you and it made me just appreciate her it made me have like another level of like how i want to be as a mother also when I get older um so in all basically you know it really just comes down to not judging others and like I said please if anybody is even interested in reading my article um or, or giving me any type of feedback I'll be very very appreciative um and also if you have any other ideas for any different articles you would want to read about um, that consists in any type of like either relationship or teen parenthood I guess and parenthood in general any helpful tips you would want for you to understand kind of like going through that process because I remember when I was that young that I felt like I was alone most of the time even before I got pregnant I felt like I was alone most of the time and I didn't really have anyone to go and talk to or get advice from because I felt like nobody at that point in my life was going through what I was going through at an older stage and so I really want to help younger teen parents or any type of parents that are struggling themselves. and obviously like teen parents are becoming not only growing up in this process but growing up with a child in this process just makes it more harder just having someone there I just feel like for me it was important for us to have someone there and I didn't have that and I feel like if I can be that person for anyone there I mean for anyone out there then then I feel like I would be accomplishing my goal <laughs> um so please let me know like I said if there's anything you would want to ask me or any questions please just comment down below um also if you can subscribe to this channel and subscribe button that would be great too um i really want to keep making videos like these but i just don't know if there's even an interest in general for these type of videos i've never done one this formatted way so like i said let me know 
and I'll see you later. Bye.